It's all today live from the couch with Carolina Bermudez, John Elliott, and Lisa Kearney. All right, well, a gourmet makeover of a classic dessert, a version of apple strudel to try at home and wow your family with. Do we get to try it? Oh, yeah, we oh, do. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, another sign of fall, ooh, crisp, juicy apples. And yeah. what better way to eat them than in a classic strudel? And here to show us her version of the popular dessert is pastry chef Colleen Graves from the Chelsea hotspot, The Red Cat. First of all, welcome. Thank you Thank for you. being Good here morning. with us. Now, you're showing us a quince and apple strudel with Calvados whipped cream? Yes, yes. Right? Yes, Calvados whipped cream. Calvados is a type of liquor that comes from uh, the Normandy region of France, and it's actually made with apples. So we're doing a little bit of the apples and uh, quince in it today. Kind of two things, you know, if you go back to biblical times, a little bit of fruits of sin. So there's a little oh, bit of a, nice. a little Hello. sin there today. Good. Exactly. Know. All right, let's do it. So, um, How can we help? Yes, it's, this is made with phyllo dough. If you dough, you can pick up at the store. Uh -huh. Usually makes it a little bit easier. It comes in one of these containers. Okay. And apparently lots of butter. Yes, you can't you can never have too little butter. It's the little things in life, butter and sugar and pastry cream and apples. Wow, <laughs> Yum. Yeah, so it comes well, in this great oh, sheet. It comes like that. Yes. Okay. So yep. that does some of the work for you, right? It, it does. It does. And if you're working with this at home, you want to make sure that you actually have a little bit of a damp towel on top of it because these sheets can get um, dry very, very quickly. And if they get dry, they tear apart? <laughs> they do. It's okay. almost like papyrus at that point. Okay. It just falls right apart. Wow. <laughs> okay. All, right. All right. So we're just going to heat up our butter. I'm telling you that you say there's uh, liquor. This is a liqueur, right? Yes. Now, yes. there's a non-alcoholic version for kids you can use, right? Yes, you can just not, not put the, uh, the alcohol in. You can just leave it just plain yeah. whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. this whipped cream just doesn't even have honey or salt in it. It's just whipped cream. Um, you could probably put a little bit of apple juice in there. Yeah. That might be nice, too, or pomegranate juice for a little bit of a, of a nice little tang to it. Now, I have a question. Tell yes. me a little bit about the quince, because for a lot of people, they don't They, they don't, don't know it, quince. Don't Actually, it. I, I uh, was able to get some quince at the market. Quince nice. are usually... Um, a little dry inside, a little bit white. Um, it's it's definitely it, something you want to sort it's, it's a kind of apple, though, right? Yes, it's kind of a cross between an apple and a pear. Mostly comes from um, the region of, of the world, like Mesopotamia, that, that area. It. Turkey. But it's its own fruit, though, right? Yes, yes. Huh. And when they're super ripe, they're very, very bright yellow. You'll see this has a little cool. bit of fuzzy on it. Yeah. That's still a little bit of, of a young quince. Yeah, I have a little okay. bit yeah. of fuzzy on me, too. Right? <laughs> am, I, am I brushing now with the butter? Yeah, yeah this butter, butter or that butter? Uh, no, this butter. Ah, okay. Yep. So okay. take a little bit of the melted butter, mm -hmm. and I paint. Yep, exactly. And this is, no, no, not at all, however you want to. And this is also fun to have the kids do the as kids well. The kids can help. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And actually, John, you have some of the uh, Calvados right in front of you. Is this right here? Yep, you can pour This is the, uh, right? That's, that's the love. Right in there. <laughs> I'm not using the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I not supposed to? <laughs> no, you are, because apparently you will not get a hangover at your age. Not at my age. Not at your age. <laughs> Whoa! Stuff too. <laughs> okay, here we go. There no. you go. It's working. It smells good. <laughs> and then what I usually do, you have a little bit of almond brittle right here, okay. which is something that you can, you know, it's an option of whether you want to put it in or not. You can just take this out and just sprinkle a little bit in between the layer. Okay. And we also have a little bit of sugar too that you can take and I'm sprinkle in between this. the layer. I'm liking this. Okay, what's yeah. next? And then we do actually one more layer of the phyllo dough. Okay. Yep. Now tell me about the event that you're going to be <clears throat> participating in and you and so many other top female chefs in the city. Tell me about this event. Yes, this is the SHARE event. It's, um, it's a great event in support with women with breast and ovarian cancer. Um, so you have some wonderful female chefs that are going to be uh, participating in it. You have um, Amanda Freitag will be there. Oh, um, yeah. Chef Alex Gornichelli will be there. Um, Amanda Cohen. Um, Anita Lowe. So you have a lot of, you know, great chefs that will be there who are actually are friends as well. And I it's also an event that um, once you do it once, you're actually married into the event. Everybody comes back every year. How did you get involved with it? Um, actually, Amanda Freitag had gotten me involved in it uh, five years ago. So this will be my fifth year. So it's very exciting. All right. Okay, so yeah. this is ready. Okay. Okay, okay great. So let's we'll do, do it. one more brush of this. Oh, sorry. Did I, did I, no, did no, I not no. brush? John had me all excited <laughs> over there with the alcohol. I, 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 lost, I lost my head. I lost my head. Oh, we'll leave that there, actually. Okay. And so then we can take the pastry bags. And we're just going to do one small line of pastry cream, okay. just to get it a little I? juicy. Yes. And that, what you're putting in there is actually the almond cream. Oh. Just almonds, okay. uh, some butter, 
um, right. salt. So one and one, is that how it goes? Yes, that's fine. That's and then, it? Yep, and then here we have the quince and we have the apples. Both? Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just put usually just a line right down the center of each. And they cook a little bit differently. Being that the quince is a little bit more dry, you actually have to cook it with a little bit more um, lemon juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then right. you yep. go. Okay, well, Some so much for my line. <laughs> we did that already. <laughs> yep. That's okay. actually First goes layer. between the layers. And ah. then you're going to roll it up like a burrito. You're okay. going to roll it up, like, roll a it up like a burrito. Oh, <laughs> trust me, you don't want me to do it. <laughs> about seven, eight minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. About 12 minutes. Usually I spin it halfway. That's why I said seven minutes. Um, so it's usually about 12, 14, 14 minutes, depending on your oven. Then they will come out looking like this. Yes. Wow. Yep. And just fold the sides in so nothing comes now, out of the sides. This looks amazing. Tell us ab about some of the other yummy things that you brought, because there's a few other things here. Oh, yes. These are some of the things that we actually have on the menu at the, uh, at the Harrison. Start with this yep. one. So this is our blueberry bread pudding. Mm -hmm. We make the brioche in-house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And we have a little bit of blueberry compote on top. What's and this? this is actually called the Dulce Panna Cotta. Um, Dulce mm -hmm. is actually an amazing chocolate that's from Valrona. So you have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate, and this is a whole other type of chocolate that's called Dulce. Wow. So it is amazing. Just came out in the country about uh, in March. And a cheesecake. A cheesecake with plums from, wow. from the market. So you have apricot at the market, blueberries at the market, you yeah, have the plums at the market, nice. New York cheesecake makes with ben, with some Ben's cream cheese from the Lower East Side. It's, it's good. So That's basically good. this is all health food. Yes. We all yes. need to eat it is. more fruits and vegetables, so go. I'll go have some asparagus. Uh, at the event real quickly again, share. Share, share event. Coming up? Uh, coming up, it's on uh, the 23rd. Fantastic. Yes, fabulous. All right. Oh, it is. It's right there. And uh, to support, you can uh, go to WLNYTV.com, and we will link you with that. Hey, I want to remind you, too, speaking of health and living healthy, uh, couch calls. It's uh, They're going to have a doctor answer some of your questions. So send us a question, and we'll do that on Thursday. All right, coming up tomorrow, model and philanthropist Lauren Bush is going to join us live. Oh, Jennifer Lewis and James Hector bring the magic to the couch. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Can we eat?